what is going on you guys here and i'm going to talk about ufc fight night in singapore max holloway taking on the korean zombie chad song junk in the main event in singapore uh it was an early card if you didn't get to watch it go watch it on espn plus but without any further ado let's dive right into it max holloway uh one of the best featherweights in the world to this day outside of alexander volkanovsky um i thought max holloway the boxing with chris uh, he definitely, um, you know, the boxing definitely was the faster guy, younger guy. The Korean zombie, uh, whenever he decided to go and attack, he looked good. The countering looks good. Uh, the only thing, you know, Max Holloway, the head movement, and, and the movement of Max Holloway was a lot for uh, the Korean zombie. Um, I thought Max Holloway showed really good composure, especially in round two when he had the Korean zombie hurt off of a strike. Uh, zombie fell. And uh, instead of going in for the attack and, you know, going in finishing the fight, he just he didn't want to do it. But, he, you know, he had no choice but to keep fighting because uh, Mark Garner wasn't going to stop the fight. Uh, he dropped down and got a Darce choke. Uh, and it looks like it was really tight. I thought it was tight. Looking at it from the angles that it was showing, it looked like it was tight. Uh, Sami did a good job defending that, too. I'm not even going to lie. He kept trying to move circle, circle, you know, just so the choke won't be as tight. He did a pretty good job. Using his arms to keep Max Holloway from getting close to his body. Because if Max Holloway was able to get close to the body, and that would have cinched up the choke even good once he wrapped his leg around his leg. Um, but good job on Zombie escaping that, getting back onto his feet. That was in round number two. But the striking peril was definitely different. Max Holloway, the speed and accuracy was there all day for him. You know, and, you know, Zombie did a good job of countering at times or even going first when it, you know, that switch hook. That he does was really nice. Um, even just him moving forward, blitzing, uh, it looked good. He caught Holloway a couple of times. You know, it wasn't like a one-sided beatdown. It started. It was gonna start becoming like that. The fight would have went a little longer. Um, in round three, uh, uh, Zombie just said, "You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna go out there and tr put on an entertaining round. Uh, kill or be killed." Attitude he had. Stepping forward on Max Holloway, going crazy. Max Holloway did a really good job of throwing back and keeping his composure, landing um, a nice shot over the top of the Korean zombie, making him zombie face plant on his face. And that was it. That was the end of the fight. Max Holloway wins by knockout over the Korean zombie. And I'm not going to, this is like the first time that I've seen Max Holloway with st stunning people or knocking people out because I've as long as I watch Max Holloway, I've never seen that from him. Uh, he definitely makes people start to crumble a little bit with the pressure that he pours on, especially the later the fight goes. Uh, I was looking forward to that to see how Zombie would respond to that. But Zombie just said, screw it. I'm just going to go crazy in this third round. And, and he, you know, I thought Zombie had great power, and he does. Um, if he was able to take the fight to the ground, I thought it would have been interesting too. But I think Max Holloway being a stronger, faster guy. Um, play the big dividends in this fight. And I, I can't wait to see what's next for Max Holloway. Uh, maybe Alexander Volkanovski, maybe not. But um, I wish this fight right here probably would have happened a couple of years ago when Zombie was still on his A game. Uh, I thought the fight would have been probably a lot better. But it still wasn't that bad now. Um, Zombie, this was his retirement fight. He decided to retire after losing to Max Holloway. And listen, no matter, you want to go out on your shield and a win, but I feel like, you know, being zombie the way he is and everybody loves him. So it, it was great to see him go out and retire, you know, because I think it's time, you know, and he knows that it was time. One of the few, one of the first guys to ever land a twister in the UFC. And now it's been done two more times ever since. But the very first man to do a twister in the UFC, the Korean zombie, will always be a legend of the sport, whether you, he never won the title or not. You know, um, he fought a who's who opponents in the UFC's featherweight division. Max Holloway got a lot to look forward to. Uh, I can't wait to see what's next for him, man. You know, shout out to Hawaii. I hope they heal up pretty well. You know, the fires I, I heard are a little crazy. So I hope everybody's safe and well on that. Um, if you guys like the video, make sure to please throw those thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. Let me know down in the comment section what are you guys' thoughts on the fight. Um, I would like to know. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.